What's going on, you guys? I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about customizing ATRTs. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people have run into lately is that um, a lot of their ATRTs are missing a handlebar. And uh, if, as you can tell by looking at this, I'm not done painting yet. I'm still, um, you know, it's only been about a week or so since the uh, game has come out. So I'm still in the middle of painting a lot of my Rebel units. Um, some of the guys are farther than others. Some guys just kind of have a little bit of... Uh, one color on them but I'm gonna take this guy off for right now because uh, basically I'm missing the handlebar uh, I had actually two core sets and an ATRT expansion now the ATRT expansion was complete right it had everything it had the antenna it had the all the handlebars and everything but out of my two core sets one was missing the back antenna and one was missing the handlebar so what I did is I just combined them both into this one up here that's got the antenna and the handlebar uh, and I, you know, you can basically, for the missing parts, you can go, there's a link to uh, Asmodee, and you can go and request replacement pieces. In the meantime, however, I'm looking at ways, basically I've, I've got the one that's like the one that's messed up, that's missing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at customizing that. Um, now, a lot of people are magnetizing their guns, and basically what you do is you take you know, your, your gun, you put a little magnet on there, another magnet up in here, you glue it on there, you make sure that they're they're gonna stick together, that they're not repelling each other, so you have to make sure the polarity's right. You stick it on there and you can do that. Um, I am personally not gonna do that, uh, only because I have seen people that were doing it for the first time and they glued their fingers together one too many times, and that's happened to me a lot lately, and, and I just, I'd kinda rather not. Um, as far as we can tell right now, the game doesn't necessarily boil down to WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. So if this guy is a laser cannon, he doesn't have to stay as a laser cannon. Uh, like I, as long as it's clear what I'm using as what, then that's fine. Worst case scenario, I, I have one of each, so I at least have one to represent each possible configuration. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this guy, though, is I'm going to have some fun with this guy. Because I'm not planning on actually... Um, magnetizing my stuff I'm gluing them I have a whole bunch of extra pieces that I'm not gonna need so I'm gonna try to modify these a little bit and I'm gonna start with this one since this is my uh, my derpiest one since it's missing the handlebar and everything else so we're gonna do some fun with this one so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna put a little bit of glue right here on the edge I'm gonna glue this on now this is risky because I'm making a permanent change here and actually, you know, one of the things I could do is I could, I could cut this down so it's not sticking out quite so far. But I don't mind. I'm having fun with this one. This one is going to be awesome. you got to hold it there for a little bit. I like the gel glue because it just really helps hold these things on. And if I ever need to take it off, I can just stick this in the freezer and it'll be a real clean break. I mean, they, they, they kind of snap off pretty easy if, if I wanted it to. But there we go. I'm going to try on the other side also. The gel glue is definitely my favorite. Oh, this is going to look so awesome. We're just holding it in place. And this has to stay there for a little while. But, and I don't mind having, some, if somebody wants to complain or whatever, I'll just swap it in for another one. That's one of the benefits of having extra, you know, extra pieces not really worried about it. I think it's going to be mostly a casual friendly game anyway. There we go. We got some you know, we got some side guns now, you know. We'll let these dry for a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to do the laser cannons too because I've got two extra. I've got basically two of everything. Two extra of everything since I've got one of each glued on one of each of my ATRTs and I'm putting a little bit of glue on the actual gun instead of on the base. And I'm going to try to put this where the feet go underneath right there now it's 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 not the uh the flattest surface so i will see how well it holds but i think it looks pretty cool and i can you can kind of turn it to the side or i'm gonna have mine facing outwards just a little bit well, this one's gonna take a little bit longer to hold in place you can kind of see In there where I have it kind of held in place there we go that one actually looks a lot better it's not because it like naturally it would it would kind of go down like that but <laughs> this is looking pretty cool so far 
And now that's set. I'm going to do the same thing. I put some glue on here already. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Kind of having it pointing out just a little bit. Now these, are, I don't know how long these are going to stay in place because I do have kind of like a flat ended cylinder kind of going up against a really like a, a side, um, you know, so I'm trying to put a, a big piece onto a short piece, but it's okay because I can always glue it back. I can glue it in other places. I can got all kinds of different places. I can kind of fix it too, but I do think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to get them all painted up. I was even thinking about if I wanted to demolish some of my old black series, I could take some of the lightsabers and glue those to the tips of some of the guns so it looks like they're actually shooting because the lightsabers are translucent and they look like, you know, different laser blasts and they come in appropriate colors like red, blue, and green. However, you don't really want to destroy $20 figure accessories. quite that badly. Almost there. There we go. That is sick looking, dude. Look at that. Ah, I love it. There's another round of the giveaway going on right now. Only thing you need to do to enter is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos and you can win yourself an expansion of your choice in the form of a $20 cool stuff gift card. Um, so it's as simple as that. Just got to be a subscriber. And leave a comment. Let this dry some more and then we'll start painting those new guns. All right, so I'm just using uh, Abaddon Black and I've kind of watered it down a little bit. I don't want it to be as thin as a wash, but I want it to be a little bit thinner than, than usual. And so I'm just gonna go kind of all around. I'm not gonna get those wires though. I'm gonna leave them like a red or something like that. Make the wires a slightly different color. Now we'll be coming back over to highlight these with a little bit of uh, the chrome kind of look. Make them a little bit shiny. But not too shiny. I might make the laser cannons more shiny. Because I want each gun to look a little bit different. And I've kind of done the flamethrower in the metal. As I've already done him in black. But I might see if I can add like a little bit of a cherry red glow to the to him. And these aren't on here like super strong because as I'm just the paintbrush going across it I can feel it kind of give a little bit of sway so there you have to be careful if you're doing if you're gluing them here there's all other places that you could glue that would potentially be better other hinges on here which look a little more natural um, but I really like the physical look of it having all these guns down below plus that would be safer for the for the operator so he gets less heat. You gotta figure laser guns have to generate a, a pretty good amount of heat. Yeah, all right, we're gonna let this dry. And then we'll come back with some of the chrome dusting. We're gonna do some dry brush. Like that. All right, so I'm going to be using Storm Host Silver. Uh, this is a really kind of a thicker, really, really glossy silver. Um, and so if you want to put it on like nice and strong, like I can put it on this laser right here and make it like really bright. All right, that's how, how bright that one can be. Um, or you can just like, you know, dry brush it on to get a, a thicker or a, a more marginal effect. But I did want the lasers to be a little brighter since they are going to be like the newest weapons but then another example is I'll, I'll, I'm going to kind of wipe my brush off a little bit and for the Gatling gun we're just going to kind of do a light, lighter dusting of it as you can see right there and then we don't want this one to look quite that cool 
and we'll hit the we'll hit the flamethrower up a, a little bit of it too. And I did that kind of a, a similar kind of effect on some of the green here, as where you can see some of the shinier parts on the ATRT itself. And the cool thing here is that I'm making it kind of blend in. So it doesn't look like I just glued something on. I want it to look like it fits, you know, in right there. So now that I've got all of my little gloss on there, I'm gonna do a little bit of extra effects. I'm gonna do some red. I want the wires in the back of the Gatling turrets to be red, and I'm going to also use a little bit of red as a dry brush um, to try to get a little bit of a flame or a heat effect on the flamethrower. So we're just going to do that. Hit those up. And this brush is starting to die on me. I'm going to have to upgrade brushes here momentarily. Because this one is not fine enough. I'm gonna see, here we go, let me swap. That's gonna work out a little bit better. Okay. So I, I go with cheaper brushes, and that does mean that they don't generally last as long, but I'm okay, because I'm gonna have five bucks for a whole bag of brushes, a bit like Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. I don't mind doing that. But if you have nicer brushes, you definitely have to take better care of them than I take of mine. So basically, that's kind of the effect I'm going with there. <clears throat> and we're going to do a little bit of dry brush effect on this guy right here. See? And I'll probably go back over this again with some orange. As well. And I got some Troll Slayer orange. Just uh, kind of dry brushing. This one's actually kind of thinned out a little bit, so I don't even think it's going to show up that much. But, all right, so basically, we've got our ATRT with all gunned out and looking pretty cool. I think it'll be fun, and uh, there may be some problems with this in tournaments, but I don't really think that it's going to. It's probably going to give me more of a weakness than anything else because people will be able to hit me from more, uh, you know, have a bigger profile. So I don't mind being potentially weaker, uh, you know, for casual games. And sure, you can shoot me from, from wherever you want. I don't mind because I'm going to play this guy real hard and he's going to be fun. <laughs> but let me know what you think, guys. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think of the, the, the mod. Are you magnetizing your ATRTs? Uh, I am going to be... Um, I'm going to be doing some more um, videos, um, but I'm not. I'm not doing all painting videos. Um, once I finish painting, though, I will go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do more of uh, you know basically showing off the different color schemes that I've done um, and and how I'm kind of distinguishing some of my units and making them kind of stand out. That'll probably be coming up very soon. Uh, I'm going to be doing Darth Vader uh, and some other more painting videos as well, as well as more bat reps and hopefully pretty soon some more Armada. Uh, videos and some more X-Wing videos too. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.